here's Knoxville's most accurate forecast from the WATE 6 on your side storm team. Recap for you here showing you the power outages we've seen so far from Hurricane Ian. Uh, that pretty astounding here. Everything you see basically in the red. Uh, totaling here uh, over a million just in the ones I have highlighted here. Everything in the purple, that's going to be greater than 250,000. The entire state has more than 2 million people now without power. Just unbelievable. Plus, we've got additional rain to come as we go tonight into tomorrow. In fact, from Orlando to Jacksonville, highest risk for flooding possibility across that region for tomorrow. We get a little bit of a break, thankfully, across the southern part of the state. Here's the 11 o'clock advisory. Category 1 hurricane, 90 mile per hour winds moving at least. It's moving north northeast at about 8 miles per hour. It'll reemerge over the open waters a little later uh, tomorrow morning, the way it's looking, and then kind of stay over water. I don't think it'll strengthen much. It doesn't have a lot of time to do so, but it probably won't weaken much, if that makes sense. Kind of holding its own. Coming back on shore sometime Friday afternoon, most likely along the South Carolina coast, and then weakening as it moves northward. Still could be a tropical depression when it's getting closer to our area, but the impacts mainly just going to be a rain event for us with some gustier winds in the Smokies. I'll talk about that in a minute, but the timing, Thursday still looks dry tomorrow. Tomorrow night looks dry. Most of Friday looks dry, but been saying this pretty close to sunset and beyond rain chances will start to go up. So for Friday frenzy games, think about taking the poncho just to be safe. OK, better chance of rain is overnight into Saturday. and We'll see that slowly start to taper off by the time we get into late Sunday into Monday. Temperatures are already cool here now. It's been pleasant, hasn't it? 46 Middlesbrough, 46 Jonesville, Virginia. We're 53 in Knoxville and lows tonight are going to be in the 40s for most areas from 47 in Knoxville and Athens to 44 in Crossville, 40 for Middlesbrough and 43 in Jonesville, Virginia. Tomorrow, similar to today, a mix of sunshine, a few clouds, well below average. 79 is the average high and we're only talking upper 60s to low 70s and still kind of a northeasterly breeze down the valley. So kind of like today, at times it will be breezy. Similar conditions Friday, maybe slightly increased winds, I'd say, out of the northeast because we're getting that storm getting a little bit closer to us. That's going to enhance some of the winds across the area, but not much of a change in temperatures. I do think we'll see some clouds, though, arrive later on Friday. This is 4 o'clock, still showing some sunshine, but watch what happens as that storm drifts back towards the north and west. Clouds will build. This is 6 o'clock Saturday morning, and kind of as we go through the day, we'll have these waves of rainfall. That's 3 right through 11, so it's not continuous, but there will certainly be some waves of rain moving through, maybe up to 1 to 3 inches across the region, but flooding levels expected to be minimal because we've not had a lot of rain in a while, so we've got plenty of opportunity for this rain to soak in. Biggest thing could be some river flooding as we get later into the first part of next week. We'll keep an eye on that. 10 to 20 mile per hour winds in the valley, 20 to 35 for the higher elevations of the Smokies. Less rainfall across the plateau, higher rain totals further east over towards the Smoky. So there's your one to three inch rainfall estimates across the area. Otherwise, it's quiet until we get until late week into the weekend. Cool mornings will continue. And speaking of cool, highs only in the 60s both days this weekend. You add some rain and some breezy conditions to that. It'll feel kind of raw on Saturday.